Rally games have come a long way since the likes of Colin McRae Rally and V Rally hit the PlayStation in the late 90s. They have become dominated by simulations nowadays, however, with the WRC and Dirt Rally series vying for the attention of rally fans' wallets. Codemasters has decided that it's about time its core Dirt series pulled the handbrake for a hard left turn, moving Dirt 5 in a far more arcade direction than Dirt Rally 2.0. The result is something quite spectacular to behold. It feels like a strange mashup of Forza Horizon and Motorstorm, especially with its vibrant festival-like presentation. Races are an astonishingly fast assault on the senses, with dirt, snow, water and dust flying here, there and everywhere. The weather effects just add to this sensory overload, especially when lightning strikes during a nighttime blizzard. Everything about Dirt 5 seems to suggest that Codemasters wants to move in a wildly different direction to its usual output. Even Dirt 3 was more realistic in its approach despite its brash style. The handling, although not entirely lacking realism, is far more focused on speed and fun, allowing you to throw a Subaru or Mitsubishi Evo around bends far quicker than should be possible. In this preview build we were treated to four events, each in a different country and showing off different gameplay styles. Each had its own set of weather patterns and time of day too, allowing us a good taste of what to expect in October's release. Norway was the first and perhaps the most varied of the four locales. Whether during the cold morning, the snowy afternoon or the nighttime blizzard I mentioned earlier, it's a spectacular sight to behold. Perhaps too spectacular at night, however, with visibility of near zero, the snow whipping about in the storm to create a white noise effect against the pitch darkness beyond. Norway also showcased the first event type. Ultra Cross. You may have heard of Rally Cross, it was a big part of Dirt Rally 2.0 and even Dirt 4, and it pits a number of competitors against each other on mixed surfaces. Simple as that, Ultra Cross is much the same except these races aren't on official circuits. They take place in the countryside on treacherous terrain, in any weather. It features the 90s rally stars from Subaru and Mitsubishi plus the iconic Ford Escort Cosworth or the bigger Cross Raid class if you prefer and it was great fun throwing each vehicle around the gorgeous Norwegian track. China showcased both the Cross Raid class and Super Lights such as the Aerial Atom in the Stampede race type. Honestly, aside from the terrain being harsher and a bit deeper into nature, there wasn't much difference between the two race types. In fact, aside from Sprint, which I'll come to shortly, the events are largely the same. China's more tropical climate makes for a very different aesthetic as you drive through its muddy tracks, heavy showers pummeling the terrain and turning the dirt into sloppy mush. Brazil's Stampede event was another more tropical affair, driving through a rainforest and along the edge of a rather large cliff. Again, another standard race really, but when night falls and your aerial atom's lights have all the power of a glow-in-the-dark toy, the deep parts of the forest are terrifyingly dark. You'll have to rely on sparse hanging lights, the glow of flares and your memory to ensure that you make it through the night. It's a real testament to Dirt 5's lighting effects. The final event in this preview build was in Arizona in the Sprint class. These things look like somebody modified a golf cart by wielding comically large spoilers to the front and back, then strapping in a ridiculous engine for good measure. The sort of thing you might expect of a Clarkson era Top Gear show. The power in these things is awesome, spinning the wheels way beyond traction, keeping you constantly sideways around the dirt oval on which you compete. It requires much more delicate use of the throttle, otherwise you'll find yourself spinning into barriers. It's still fun, but only once you've spent some time getting used to this very different kind of Dirt 5 event. Dirt 5 is a strange beast. With its more arcade handling, each car feels quite similar to drive, the only real changes being to their speed and weight. It's easy to chuck them into corners at speed using the throttle to bring the back end round for an impressive power slide. It feels light and fun, closer to Criterion's racing style than anything you'd expect from Codemasters, and there's a chance the series hardcore fans might not like it, but they aren't necessarily the target audience for this game. Much like Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport, the Dirt series is looking to move in two completely different directions. Hardcore rally fans will want to stick to Dirt Rally, but with Dirt 5 it looks like the numbered games are aiming to reach a far wider audience and one that doesn't want to faff around with braking distances and finding the right driving assists, but instead wants to simply pick a vehicle and track before tearing up the scenery. So yes, rally games have come a long way since those late 90s PlayStation classics, and it looks like Dirt 5 wants to take them even further afield. Some won't like it, but if Forza Horizon's proven anything, it's that a series can go in new directions and still thrive. Hey, Adam from GodIsAGeek.com here. Hope you enjoyed Gary's video preview of Dirt 5. We'll be sure to bring you more on this game nearer the release. It's very early access, four months before um, 
the game is out, I believe. Um, do make sure you hit subscribe, do make sure you hit the bell button, and if you enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up, and maybe tell us what you're looking forward to in Dirt 5, or if the change of direction is something that appeals to you, or you don't like. Keep it constructive, people. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.